Hey, Nathan here. Welcome back to another artificial intelligence concept video. In this video, we are going to go over the concept of pathing AI. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a quick video because the concept of pathing AI is going to extend the concept of seeking AI. So, let's do a brief overview on what seeking AI is. So, we have our player object, which is here, go to our enemy, which is here. So that's our enemy. So we have our player object at the bottom, and we want it to seek to our enemy. So I'm going to use this color here. So in order to seek, it needs to move this way towards the enemy. So let's extend this concept and make sure we understand how it looks in terms of a path artificial intelligence. So this is seeking. We go from our player object wants to seek to the enemy. So it moves towards the enemy and the enemy could move to the left or to the right, or even up or down. So it can move in any direction, and it can move diagonally. So what do we want to do here? We want to look at the seeking in terms of pathing. So what it's actually doing is it's generating a, a path of two points. And I'll use the, uh, this color here. So we generate a point here. So we go from here to here. So it's generating two points for the path. So we go from here to here. So that is what seeking is. Okay, so now let's discuss pathing. So we already determined that seeking is essentially creating two points of a path. We go from our current position, which is point zero, to the enemy's position, which is point one. That's essentially a path, and we just seek. So what we want to do now is to discuss the concept of actual pathing. So we have our player, again, our player is going to be here. And we want the player to travel, I'll use this color here. So our player is there. So that's essentially the first point. I'm going to put the first point above the player just so you can see what it looks like. But it would be where the player is already. It would be at the center point of this dot. But I'm just putting that up there because... Putting that above the player, you won't see the player, and it will look odd. Okay, so a path. A path will extend seeking to where we have our player's position, which is here. Player's position. So that's our player's position. So we want to go around in a path... Let's say this point. This point. This point. Okay, so let's just say this is a path. So this is one, two, three, four, and this is zero. So zero is the player's position. So we generate a path as you see here. So essentially we need to seek, I'm going to use this color here, uh, seek to next position. So we're at zero and then we need to seek to one. So we need to seek to next uh, point 
in array or list or whatever you want to use. So I'll put that there. Just some kind of array or list or anything, a collection of any kind where you have these points. So that is point one. So we're at zero. We need to seek to one. All right, when we're at one, seek to two. And so on and so on. When we're at four, stop. If end of path. Okay. So we have a path set up. We drop our player's object here. And we have a path set up. So we go from our player's position one to zero. We seek to one as shown here. So we seek here. When we're at one, when we're within a certain distance, within some We're at some distance, mark to where we are at one. Okay. So when we move to zero to one, when we want to say we are at one, so within some distance, we need to mark it where we're, we are at one. And then now that we are at one, we need to seek to two and repeat the process. Within some distance, mark it to where we are at two. And then we repeat the process until we are at the last item of the path. We will end our movement. Now we can extend this even further to where If path AI is set to loop, go back to zero. So if we set up our path AI to be loopable, it will repeat the process. So when it gets to the end, it will go back to the first one, which is index zero. So when we are at four, if it's looping, we will go back to zero. If it's not looping, if in a path and not, not looping. So if we are at four and we are not looping, it'll stop, our object will stop moving. If we are at four and we do enable looping, it will go back to zero and repeat the entire pathing process over again. So this is the basic concept of pathing artificial intelligence. So the concept of seeking is essentially a path with two points, where you are and where the enemy is. So that is technically a path AI so we are just going to extend, so let me create a new layer here, and I'm going to go to black, make another new layer. So let me write this down here. Seek AI. It's basically Pathing with two with two points. Player position and enemy position. And then here.
Path AI seek from current position to next position in an array. So that is essentially what path AI is. We seek from our current position to the next position in array. So some distance threshold will will determine when we will reach our destination. So we have some distance threshold that will determine when we reach our destination. So what this what this line here means. So let's say we have our player object here. And its velocity is, let's say, its velocity is this large. That's its velocity. We want to arrive at this destination here. We are going to go past it. So we need to have some distance threshold. In this case, anything less than our velocity so let me do this here. Typically less than our velocity speed. So we will arrive, we are currently technically there. So we can actually slowly arrive here if we want to slow down. So this can be up to the developer here. So this is less than our velocity. So at that point we can either slow down to Drive, or just put the object on the on the point. Okay. So we could slowly arrive, which is slow down, so we can slowly transition to there. Or the next frame, so this is the current frame, our next frame will be we will be on the point. So we can slow down to where we're on the point, or just in the next frame put ourselves on that point. And then continue on to the next point, which will be here. So that will be our next path, next part of the path. Then we repeat the process there. All right, so that was it for this video. Uh, it's been a couple months, well, actually, uh, I think March was the last time I released a video, so it's been a very long time. So this is the concept of Path AI. We're going to seek from our current position to the next position in an array. Then we're going to have some distance threshold to determine when we reach our position. Once we are at that position, we will go to the next position in the array, repeat the process, seek from our current position to the next position in the array. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.
Stay tuned for the next video in another few weeks.